Good morning, everyone. I am so excited. It's Wednesday. Hump day. Isn't that what the <laughs> commercial says? <laughs> I always so, feel so weird saying that. <laughs> Just, you know, anyway, middle of the weekday. It's a great day. Um, really windy this morning. Like, almost got blown away as <laughs> we were walking to the car. <laughs> so if you haven't yet, be careful when you're opening your doors today, just because the wind is powerful. Like, if you look up in the sky, the clouds are, like, whipping past. If you're in Texas, in the Dallas area, anywhere else, I'm like, I don't know what your weather's like. But that's what's happening here. And now, take it away, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Good morning, good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. It is just, <laughs> it's a great day. And, you know, this morning has already started out just Perfectly amazing. Perfectly amazing. Got up. The girls got up. Everyone was in a good mood. <gasps> I don't always you didn't get have this. A growly cat. I, I did not have a growly cat. Nice. Um, there, there was a little, uh, I did have a little growly roo mm -hmm. for, a, for a little bit, but you know, we had a little talk. If you have animals or if you have Oh, kids. so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> so yeah, just FYI here. I got to turn myself down a little bit. I'm a little loud you're, there. You're real loud. I'm real yeah. loud. Yeah, I'm, I'm loud already. <laughs> like I need to be extra loud. What's going on here? Um, so, so all of my kids have nicknames and their name, their nicknames are some type of an animal. Mm -hmm. So London is a cat for Lundy cat. Isla is a kangaroo. Uh, Isla she, Roo. She's a jumper. She, she loves like, jumping. Like, they, it fits. They actually, like, they embrace their They names. embrace it. They don't even know what it means. <laughs> like, they, 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 they don't know. They don't know. And then you um, give it to them, like, the day they're born. Or, yeah. like. <laughs> like, like, Sydney is Sydney Fox. Uh-huh. And she's a little snake. <laughs> we don't know that yet. <laughs> she is determined. <laughs> she is very determined. Mm -hmm. Very determined. Like, I don't care if I spill all this water all over me. I'm drinking out of a cup just like everyone else does at this table. <laughs> I don't care if you have to hold my hands so I can practice how to walk. You're going to hold my hands and let me practice how to walk. Right. Right. The term a little tiny. So there's my little thing of this morning. Let's go get a little split screen action going on here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Right. Like that. So, um, Lindsay, let's talk about hair. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Let's go that direction. You ready? Nick, so I woke is up. looking really on point today. Mine is horribly <laughs> off point today. Is it? Oh my gosh. I have, no. My hair. My hair. I had to redo my hair four times just to get to look like this and I'm still not happy with it. Huh, why? Because it's not, it's not going up and over the way it's supposed to go. It's right now. I, I had to go make it go more back uh -huh. than the way I normally like it. Yeah. So, but, so how long did that take you? Your four tries? Three minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you hear that, girls? <laughs> three minutes. I can't even Maybe do five. one hairstyle in three minutes. What, what, what are you rocking today? Oh, I'm rocking the fabulous ponytail. Just <laughs> straight up plain Jane ponytail. <laughs> Yes. Why, why, why do girls not like ponytails? Like for me, that that a ponytail is like athletic, like that that that's something that you for for guys, it's not something that's ever like a last resort. But for you women, it seems like that is the last that resort. That is the last resort. <laughs> and start doing more last resorts. Why? It, well, like, I mean, you know what? It, it, I'm so sorry. So, if you're single and you want to get talked to, maybe do a little bit more last because guys like ponytails. Why? Because that shows that we're athletic? Yes. Huh. That explains so much. Oh, God. I meant that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> Why did you? I don't even know. I was just thinking of my childhood. I always had ponytails in, and I had a lot of guys that were friends. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So here we go. So, so, so it sounds like a rough three minutes half. I know. Right. Right. <laughs> Amber, Amber, you're going to love this. You want to know what's going on today? Sweetheart. Today is the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. <gasps> and there is an HBO max special uh -huh. that starts today. <gasps> I'm going to go home and watch it. Yes. Amber, you want to come? <laughs> <laughs> Amber's probably going to want to come over and, you know, just kind of, you know, take, join and watch that special. But yes, yes. it's all over Instagram. Hermione. Uh, Hermione. Her, she, see, I'm uh -huh. not, I'm not, I am not the Harry Potter person in my family. It is my wife. Um, I do want to go to Universal Studios and absolutely walk that, walk that, uh, whatever that street's called. I'm sure Amber's going to tell me in the comments. Diagon Alley. Oh, sure. Yeah. Is, is that yeah. what they built in Universal Studios? 
I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to go. Yet. I really want to go experience it. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big lore person when it comes to Harry Potter. I'm the Star Wars guy in the family. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, but just so you know, I, I I read that today, sweetheart, and I was like, oh, Lumber, Amber's gonna love this because Lumber? yeah, Is that what you London and Amber. No, no, no. I, I I had already my brain had already gotten to the word love, but I still had not said her word her name Amber, so it became Lamber. <laughs> Oh, oh my funny. goodness, right? So yes, it is the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter and the team is getting back together and they're putting on a special on HBO Max and it's already like all over Instagram. Right. It is ridiculous. I met people booked a meeting this morning just to watch. <laughs> they had focus time in their calendar so they couldn't get a phone call so they could watch it. <laughs> you know what? If Amber worked here in the office with us, I guarantee you she would have done that. And you yep. would have joined her. You wonder yep. what you would have done? You probably would have booked one of the conference rooms oh, with, yeah. with, with one of the large surround big screens. Sa- is there surround sound in the conference room? Because <laughs> that's what I would need. And then <laughs> and then you oh, and then what we could have done, what we could oh, it's an alias. <laughs> Lambra's an alias. Um and then what we could have done is we could have invited all the people that were like, hey, we're gonna go watch Harry Potter. <gasps> Oh, we should like. That would have been a great networking event. <laughs> yes, it would have. You know, I think now that we're ca- now that we're caught up on client work, I think let's let's may, may, not 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 through the rest of 2021 because there's enough uh-huh. holidays and stuff going on. Oh my gosh, but, but I'm let's, so busy. But on let's, the weekends. right, and not 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 on the weekends, but let's figure out something for 2022. Uh-huh. Just little things that are going to go on that we can start having our own networking events that are not like a static. Every month on Thursday, there's this network event. No, like this is a one-off and you get invited. Let's talk about this. I know. Oh, we're going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. We are absolutely going to have this conversation. Yes. Sounds more like a party. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best networking events. Right? The the, the party kind. It's the, it's the ones that everybody wants to come to. So since we're talking about HBO Max and Instagram, I'm I'm going to I'm going to list out these three things. So you need to know about Instagram, just a little FYI, a little Instagram update. Um you have paid badges for creators now. So huh. So you can pay creators on Instagram now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, there's an add yours now to the story. And th- that's been there for a while. So if I if you share a story and I want to add to that story, I can now do that. And you, you'll see people that do this a lot on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Like they'll just add to a story and just keep it going, right? It's well, a fun thing fun. to do. I like um, that idea. And now to help combat a lot of the bots, Instagram is rolling out a video selfie for new verification. So if Meaning? you get... So if your if your profile gets flagged as a possible bot, mm-hmm. you may have to do a video selfie to get it reactivated. And if you're if you're doing a new now hold on if if you're doing a new if you're doing a new profile, you might have to do a video selfie if you're not already attaching it to a Facebook uh, profile. Now this is good because people get hit up all the time. I'll get you a thousand a thousand likes, a thousand followers, ten thousand followers for fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. Right. And what Instagram is trying to do is they're trying to combat that, right? Mm-hmm. Because obviously those are bots. Obviously those are those are not real profiles. It's a numbers thing. Correct. It's all about numbers. So that uh, so if I'm a person that is controlling all these bots, right? I am why why would it be different for me to just do my video selfie? And verify each account, wear something different, wear my hair different, style different. What What is there keeping people from doing that? You're Stop trying to help the enemy. <laughs> what are you I'm doing? I'm trying to think like the <laughs> what enemy. What are you doing? I'm trying to think like the enemy <laughs> no, so that we no, can... No, no, no. And, can and I get that, right? Solve so, that. So, so the, you're, you're always going to have people that are able to circumvent the law, right? Mm-hmm. Look at taxes. Perfect example. How do you circumvent taxes, right? There, there, there are people who are experts in taxes that know how a private net. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're going to tangent. Sean, private networking party completely catered. Oh, I know where he's going with it. Sean, Sean, that's a plug. I like it. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is not what we're going to do. But yes, are there people that are going to circumvent it? Yes. Just like taxes, right? People, people find their way around taxes. They're going to find their way around this. But, but if Instagram can make a dent Mm. can take 
can take some of that, some of those fake profiles out, just something to clean it up. Yeah. They're moving in the right direction. Yes. I am 110% for this because I, mean, I didn't say I wasn't for it, but I just, I see holes. Of course, and, and it, obviously but. they're they're rolling this out. There's mm-hmm. as it's, it's going to get more stringent as we go on, but th- at least they're, at least they're trying. At least exactly, they're moving in the right direction That's on this. Good. That's so catfishing. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to explain. Uh, who was it? Who was I explaining catfishing to? I think it was Amber. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it was Amber. She was like, "What's catfishing?" And I'm like, "Oh." Let me explain Isn't this. Isn't that it, where you go fishing and you find the, you, you get catfish, like catfish is a real fish? Sean is shaking his head at you right now. <laughs> I, I, I know he is because I'm shaking my head at you right now. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. Like, oh, <laughs> poor Lindsay. You want to know what? We will talk about catfishing tomorrow <laughs> or the day after. We're, we're, we're not going to do it. So so a, another thing on, <laughs> on, on the social media realm, did you know that 25% of Twitter users create over 90 Seven percent of tweets. So if, if, if you talk ha- about eating most of the pie, I, I know, right? <laughs> right? See, Sean shaking his head. Okay, and and see, th- this is this is very important because it, if you go to Twitter and you're just you're you're reading a lot of negativity, mm-hmm. you got to remember that negativity on Twitter is created by twenty five percent of the audience. So don't generalize the other, don't generalize the other, let's say, let, you know, let's round up to 30%, right? Let, don't generalize the other 70% of people on Twitter saying, oh, they're all negative. Because honestly, what you're having is you're just having these 20 to 30% of people just really hammering out content. Mm-hmm. And are, are they using tools like InstaTweet? Probably. Probably. Are they using tools that duplicate and retweet? Probably. Probably. Are there some, a lot not some. Are there a lot of fake profiles out there on Twitter? Probably. Yes. Like every platform. I think LinkedIn's the only one that's like, no, mm. I don't. Do you put fake profiles on LinkedIn? I get, you, you want to know what? No. It, yes. I, I, have, I have definitely been spammed by some fake profile profiles. It's not as heavy as Twitter or Instagram or even Facebook. Yeah. I have reported fake profiles to Facebook corporate Right. And they have flat out told me we're not going to delete that profile that could be real. legit. That's real. And I'm like, that has to be a guy. That has to be a guy that read that 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 had to go research that profile. I was like, oh, that's a really cute girl. I'm not going to delete that profile because there is no way. There is no way those are real profiles. There's just not. Why? Because they're cute girls. Mm, no. It is, it is, it is the way the girl is dressed and it is the, what is in, it is what is in the text. Mm-hmm. These are obviously not, you want, Lindsay, I'm going to share one with you. Great, Nick. Yeah. And if, if you think this is a real person, we need to sit down. I need to figure out if you're a bot. <laughs> <laughs> Or a guy, because you said like the guy had to, it had to have been a guy. It that has to be. It just yeah. has to be. I mean, mm-hmm. it, these are blatant bots, blatantly fake profiles. Blatant. Blatant. Obvious. Obvious. What's another word? In your face. Silified. 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 What in the I'm world? I'm making does up that words mean? right now. <laughs> I don't know. It's like silicone. That's like <laughs> fake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that I get was it. good. <laughs> I made up a new word. We got it to work. Uh, good morning, Ryan. How you doing, oh, brother? Man. That was greatness. That was absolute greatness. Good morning, Barbara. How are you doing this morning? Oh man. <laughs> All right. So we, I, I'm going through my things here. Okay. So listen, like, like in, in multiple episodes, we talked about companies that are leaving China, right? Yes. And they're they're still going, and they're, and still, they're leaving. They're but still this one, flood it, fleeing, fleeing, right? Fleeing, fleeing, <laughs> fleeing, fleeing the crazy, the country, <laughs> <laughs> fleeing the crazy, the crazy China, crazy. Um, so a big game developer, Fortnite, is leaving China. Never heard of him. Okay, so Fortnite I'm is just a. Kidding. Ma- <laughs> it's like you have a son. Does Does Tristan not know what Fortnite is? I just wonder how like jacked up I can get Sean on the car. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I actually, I Tristan, I don't believe is old enough to do Fortnite. So I, I wouldn't let him don't. touch Fortnite. 
allow him to play. And you I honestly, know I can't keep him from seeing others play mm-hmm. all the time, but I, that is not my favorite game. Well, you're also not buying him a thousand dollar computer. No. No. Go play sports. Yes. Go play real sports. Yep. <laughs> Go be active. I actually get, get a so, scholarship and then we can talk about buying you a thousand dollar computer. Parenting moment. Oh, here we go. Buckle up, ladies and gents. <laughs> so my son is hooked on this sh- YouTube show called Dude Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm struggling as a parent to be okay with it because, like, he comes home from school. He takes care of his book bag like he's supposed to. He takes, like, gets his lunch out. And then he just sits on the couch and he doesn't move until I get home. Like, I don't know. Is that, is that just me, like, no, like having when- a, having a, a, blah moment of you know what i mean okay well hold on hold on so let, 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 let's let's measure this right mm-hmm. um london gets home isla gets home amber gets home right from school is there anything wrong with doing a 30 minute cartoon just just related to cartoons mm-hmm. right anything. you get yeah. you you, you, you get you get 30 minutes of dude perfect and then it goes off and then you need to you need to enjoy the rest of your day like i get i get wanting to come home and watch a movie not a movie watch a cartoon maybe watch some youtube videos but the, sure. just like anything else there's a time limit there's on it there's a time limit yeah so is there a time limit being enforced or is he sitting there for 3 hours i'm going to judge you if you say 3 hours it's two oh no absolutely not yeah nope so I'm like, I don't, I need to, we need to sit down and we need to all have a conversation and have this, like, this is the timer, but I'm not, I'm not home at that time. Then who is the responsible parent that we need to have a set the expectation conversation with? Mm-hmm. No, no. And you, you I, we, we don't need a name. <laughs> we don't need a name, but, but here we go. Right. We're, we're talking about this. Right. But now we have to set the expectation with the parent that is the authority figure and the child. Yes. Right. And now not if the expectation has been set now, now we can keep them accountable to it. One, two, great. Hey, Tristan, I want you to watch dude. Perfect. And then we're going to go recreate one of the basketball shots or one of the, one, one of the soccer shots, or let's, let, let's figure out how, how we can do a dude. Perfect in the backyard. And maybe we utilize a trampoline. You guys have a trampoline. <laughs> we do. So he's he's gotten because of Dude Perfect. He's gotten into bottle flipping. <laughs> so that's actually been his like. Let's go. Right. He's been so excited. So I mean, <laughs> so then what I would do is I would have so bottle flipping. If you don't know what it is, go Google it. But I would have a full bottle. I would have a three quarters, one half, one quarter. So there's different water levels in each bottle and then have him do it. So he has to, so that way he has to start working on this one. They all feel differently. They all flip differently. Mm -hmm. And we start teaching him a little bit of physics that go along with it. Mm. Hmm. This is why you have Nick in your life. Nick is an outside the box thinker that just sometimes you're like, that's a great idea. And sometimes (laughs) you're like, Nick, I'm. (laughs) Yeah. I like that whole recreating the shots. Like they took like, a whole basketball court. Like, I have a driveway, and I don't even have a basketball hoop. How am I going to do It's okay. This? Our neighbors do. Just borrow theirs. <laughs> uh, it's concreted into the cement. I didn't say you had to move it. Anyway. I said just use it. <laughs> From our driveway you to their driveway. I, no, no. I, I, we're going to borrow it. I want to see your son throw up, throw a basketball from your driveway into the basketball court, the basketball hoop on their driveway, and we're going to video it. Now, here we go, right? Dude Perfect just shows you the perfect shot. Right. They don't show you the 12, 13, 24, hours 65 that hours <laughs> that it took to get to that perfect shot. But that's why that's why it's great, because you get to see the end result. A lot of people don't want to see the grind you have to go through. They just want to see how pretty you are. I don't want to see how long it takes you to get your makeup on. That's so true. I just want to see how pretty you are with your makeup on, right? I don't want to see, I don't want to see how long it took you to build a business. I just want to see the, the nice car or the money or the whatever it is from the business you have that's now. Why, that's why phone companies came out with time-lapse videos. Yes, people love yeah. to see the end result. 
So, so now, now what we can do is we give you one of the halo lights and the phone mm-hmm. and we set it on record and go, okay, Tristan, dude, perfect time. Make this shot. Right. And maybe it takes him three hours. And you want, you want, you want what's going to be great is him going through the process. He's going to learn more about video and how to, how to start planning things than you could ever teach him sitting in a classroom. And that's why you have a nick in your life. (laughs) (laughs) I'm telling you right now, I'm already, I'm already contemplating with Amber about the channel that my girls are going to start. And it, I don't know if it's going to be toys. I don't know if it's going to be sports. I don't know what it's going to be, but yes, are my girls eventually going to have their own YouTube channel? And are we going to, are, are we going to allow them to, to start positively impacting people's lives? Absolutely. Is dad going to monitor it? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why, why, let's absolutely do one for Tristan. Okay, Nick manager, sir, I need you to moderate that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do it, right? I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, this is the direction it's going, right? If you yes. watch one of our other episodes, we're talking about eventually moving into the metaverse, mm-hmm. right? We're talking about an augmented reality, virtual reality. These kids need to understand that, yes, they can. They, they can make money playing video games correctly. They can make money by shooting video correctly, right? You can be a digital entrepreneur, Mm -hmm. but you need to make sure that you have the right guidance to go with it. The parents need to make sure that they're involved. Right. And if you're like, Hey, I want my kid to go down this direction. I see potential in my kid. And you're like, I, I, I'm not the parent for that. Call me, Mm -hmm. call me. Let me give you the parent and your child some coaching and set you guys down the right direction. If you're like, Nick, no, we want you on a retainer. Great. We can talk about that as well. But don't do this alone. If you don't know what you're getting into, parents, don't do this alone because you could seriously. It's a, it's a big beast that you're taking on. It is a big beast. And you, you, you could seriously be setting your kid up for failure and not even realize you're setting them up for failure. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. You know, it's funny. We had dinner the other night and it was tamales, right? And my kids, it was the first I saw time. saw the video. <laughs> it was the first time that, uh. They had eaten tamales ever, really. And so Tristan's like, I want to do a video. I'm like, okay. So I get my phone out, which we usually don't have the phones out at the table, but I record him and he goes and he just does a video. And at the end of it, he's like, and I just really hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope you grab, like have a great, like he just, he closed the video, which people mm-hmm. don't usually do that. No, he's great at <laughs> it's it. like. Where did you learn this? <laughs> so so now, now start showing him the technology he needs, mm-hmm. okay? Take one of these ring lights so he gets used to go, okay, I need to make sure my lighting is correct. Like start teaching him these other little nuances mm-hmm. that make the video really work, mm-hmm. okay? That, and then, then what we can do, then what we can do is, hey, let's create a little intro for him. Let's oh create a little gosh. outro and, and start, and, and I'm not saying it needs to be published, mm-hmm. but let's start creating so he understands the full system, right? I mean, you and I didn't learn this. How old were, how old were you when you started learning about intros and outros and? Never ask a woman her age. <laughs> <laughs> intros and out, like do, like creating them yes. myself. My birthday was a month ago. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but 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 that's it, right? Like we learn this as adults. You you have you have the potential of getting your child started early down a career that he might really enjoy mm-hmm. that he can grow into and have how old is Tristan? He's 6. So I mean you're talking about easily having a 12-year jump start on other kids. Oh my gosh. Right? Something to think about. That is something to think about. Something to think about. So here we go. Here we go. Um, yes. And, and if you look at the comments real quick, you know, Amber, <laughs> Amber says, yes, absolutely. A little. So going back to what needs to happen when children right. get home. Yes. Having a little bit of time to decompress after the day is absolutely fine. Yes, absolutely. Put a timer on it. Yep. Set the expectation. Mm-hmm. And then, and then here we go. This is the hard part. Enforce. Enforce. The it. expectation. That means, Yeah. And here's yeah. why, here's why. All these things just went through my brain of like, okay, you know, teach him to set the timer, call the authority that's there, 
FaceTime with them so at that time, the timer goes off. Like all these things are going through my brain of like, okay, how do we make sure this really happens? Sure. And, and you might need to create a little system. Mm-hmm. All the process process. There is, there's a process. So on, on that so note, on that note of getting, get, getting into things early. So just FYI, if you are. Mm. So anyway, with yeah. wrapping that up, Fortnite is leaving China. That's Fortnite is deal. leaving China. And that is a big deal because that is. <laughs> yeah. What did you put in this? I, <laughs> because that, 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 that is another large multi-billion dollar company that net, we had LinkedIn left. There's your professional mm-hmm. Yahoo left. There's another, there's a search engine. And now from a, a, one of the t- number one gaming games in the gaming industry is now leaving. Does anybody know what's going on? Like why? I have no idea. I have friends in China why? and they will not talk about it because all their apps are monitored by their government. And they're like, we're, we're not going to talk about it. We're just, we're not. Because that's a great way to put the target on your own back is to say, oh, here's what the government's doing in China. Like, But they're not leaving. It does. I'm not leaving the United States. It doesn't mean I want the United States. I don't just mean I want the FBI knocking on my front door because mm-hmm. I said something in a tweet. What'd you say, Nick? I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything in a tweet. I know everything I put on social media, everything that goes on here, mm-hmm. everything is being monitored by our government. And it, you want to, and it's so funny. It doesn't matter if, if so Donald Trump is looking at starting his own social media network, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. It's being monitored by the government. Okay. If you, if you think you're going to live in this first world country and the government is not watching you, you're silly or, or you just, you, you, you're, you're, you call it ignorance and you're okay with it. And that's okay. I feel like Mike, Mike Wazowski. And Mike Ross. Wazowski. Mike Wazowski and Ross. I have no I'm idea where we're going. Always watching you. You need to be Ross for Halloween. No. <laughs> yes. Covered in slime? No. <laughs> no I'm thank just saying. You, you want to? Okay, here we go. Ready? Um, let Let's go and get your voice doing that one <laughs> that one thing, and then I'll I'll I'll, f- I'll figure out some way to create a meme with it, a meme or a gif or a short video. Wait. Did I impersonate her really You did good? really well. Yeah. That Thank was you. really well. I mean, even Wally's laughing at you. <laughs> you know. Right? I do. I do well. All yeah. right. So um, if you're in the crypto world and Wally, Wally, oh, bro, you want to know what Wally, I owe you an apology. When you first started talking to me about cryptocurrency, I thought you were, I'm like, this guy, this guy, I don't know where this guy's going. He's but on a loop to loop. He's, he's, he's on to <laughs> something. I don't know if I can hop on that thing. And bro, you are so far ahead of the game wait you're in dallas <gasps> wally you're supposed to tell us you're supposed to be on the show okay wally i'm gonna call you when we get off the show because <laughs> if you're in dallas if you're in dallas we we, we, we got to hook up meet up sorry that sounded really weird <laughs> we got to meet up so so wally wally oh, was man. talking about cryptocurrency like three or four years ago and i, I remember talking to him about it. i'm like man i don't know about this crypto thing it i don't know about longer this longer than that wasn't it but here we go, right? Like Wally even knew the difference between like a hot wallet and a cold wallet. And he was doing the mining thing before the mining thing became popular. Uh-huh. Like he, he, he had the foresight, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like I'm catching up <laughs> when it comes to crypto. Now here, we, here this is why and we're talking I'm, about crypto I'm, today. Yeah, mm-hmm. Crypto is now officially over 1% of all world currency and all investments. That's a big deal. Okay. Now here's, here's, here's one of the reasons why you can actually buy, buy, it's not a stock, buy an exchange on the New York stock exchange. You buy an exchange and it's made up fully of cryptocurrencies. Mm-hmm. And if you're not, if you, if, if you're like, oh, cryptocurrency is still so far out. No, it's not. It is right around the corner. It's coming. And, and if you are not, if you are not at least getting educated on it, I'm not saying mm-hmm. you need to buy it. I'm not saying put your money into it. I'm saying at least start, just w- watch a little bit. Like, like I'm not j- asking you to jump on, uh, jump on the train or jump on the bandwagon, but you better start getting educated on it mm-hmm. because wow. Wow. And there's so much to get educated on. 1%, 1% of the world is already on it. If you do not understand the gravity of that, look at how much currency is in the world and just do 1%. And it's going to be a larger number than what you think. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Crazy. I'm going Crazy. through my things. I'm going through my things. Okay, so Contra, last thing. So we're, we're going to hop over to TikTok real quick. Uh, Contra is leaving. Sorry. Contra is partnering with TikTok <laughs> to start to start for, for creators now to start create networking within TikTok. Who's Contra? I have no idea. I have no idea what a Contra is. All I know is that they're partnering with TikTok and here, here's why they're doing it. They're so how LinkedIn now has something for contractors, mm-hmm. right? And for Ooh. and for uh independents and and for small businesses, now they're doing that on TikTok because TikTok's like, well, we don't want all of our business professionals to go to LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Let's start creating communities here for people to be networking here, right? Yep. Now here's 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 what I need you to do. If you're a small business owner. I mean, I cannot wait to have Sean on this show. Sean is, Sean's the man. So if you are a small business owner, you have to start to think, okay, where is my perfect prospect? And then start to create a community around yourself on that platform. Okay. Yes. So, so where's you my perfect don't prospect? You to be on every platform. You don't. You need to be on the platform that your prospects are on. Correct. Mm-hmm. And you need to start creating a, a, a community on that platform for your prospects because here, here, here's what works. Interruption marketing makes people angry. Attraction marketing brings you the right people. And when you use attraction marketing, they're more likely to spend more money with you. Well, okay. It's appealing, yeah. It is appealing because you're you're attracting them to you. The interruption marketing, the cold emails, all that stuff. That stuff, does it work? Yes. Do you get a really negative vibe from it from people who are like, why did you email me? Why did you cold call me? Why did you cold message me? Yes, you're gonna get a negative vibe from that. And that here we go, right? It takes three seconds to go leave a Google review. And what people have not caught on to yet is if you're spam emailing me. What is going to stop me from leaving a Google review saying, I told this company to stop emailing me and, and they, they didn't, didn't stop. Listen. I told this company to stop messaging me can and they we, didn't stop. Ooh, can we get the Google account for all those spam phone calls of your car's warranty is now expired? Right. I'd like to leave them a message or two. Right. But you, we, we, if you're doing the interruption marketing, Okay. You need to be aware because people are now getting more aware of, oh, I can leave, I can go on to Yelp and leave you a bad review. Mm-hmm. What, what? And people, people, so you have to remember, Yelp is tied more to Apple. So if your users, if your perfect prospects are Apple users and they're using Apple Maps, you get a couple bad Yelp reviews, that could seriously damage your revenue. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what? Now, now you have to go back and do damage control. And if you know how expensive it is to work with oh Yelp, goodness. oh my goodness! So sorry. Didn't realize I was putting you to sleep so bad. Good morning, Enriquito. How you doing, brother? Man, we have Enriquito. We have not talked in weeks since I left FLP. We have not talked. We need to talk. I'm gonna. I, you know what? I'm gonna be calling people today. You got phone calls. To I make, got phone apparently. calls to make today. I need to catch up with some peoples. Apparently, you need to work on your friend. Ness, friend, friend, friendingness, <laughs> friendness, <laughs> being a good friend. <laughs> right as soon as we get some more breathing space in this agency, yes. <laughs> oh, oh man, you want to? What? Why not? What? Why do we not have an online like networking group? I don't know. Ooh, oh, I have ideas. Uh-huh. I have ideas. Don't worry, I will help him flush them all out before they all take <laughs> off the ground at the same time and blow everything. <gasps> wow, vicious, vicious, <laughs> goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. All right, it's already 34 minutes. Yep. Hey, everyone. Um, thank you guys for tuning in this morning. Yes. We got we got to cut this because I have like uh, another six th- topics I want to talk about, but that oh can wait till gosh. tomorrow. We're going to have a guest tomorrow. Yay. We're going to have a guest tomorrow. He is a so veteran. Um, I'm not going to drop his name. Uh, because I want you guys to tune in, but he is a veteran. Um, he, he is a guy that will match. If you want, he's, he, he reminds me a lot of David Thompson. He was going to match me on energy Ooh. and it's going to be know what I'm fun. Gonna come into in the morning. It is going <laughs> like, to be fun. Like we're going to need cold brew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to need more cold brew tomorrow. 
Am I? Yeah. Really? Yes, you are. I just made a batch. You're gonna need. You're gonna need to double it. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> it was delicious. It's it was delicious, absolutely delicious. Way. Her cold brew this time was on point, and we didn't eat, need. And we did not need to add ice cream to it to make it that way. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but oh, you know, that's, you right, know. Right. So, Hey everyone, thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Just so you know, that is how we know to pray for you. Okay. And, and we, we do pray for you daily. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is, this is how we know to, to put your name on the list. So please make sure you're doing that. Um, bring, bring it today. Okay. A, a week, up. Uh, rise up and, and crush, crush it. it. Okay. <laughs> because today's Wednesday. All right. So a week from today, a lot of people a week from today that that's their half a day and then they're into the holidays. They're out. Okay. So you yep. need to make sure that you plan today, tomorrow and Friday, make sure that you get your work done so Monday and Tuesday of next week you're not you're not stressing yourself out. You can right? actually enjoy getting projects done. Stress yourself out today, get it done today <sighs> so you have a little breathing room and you're not stressing yourself out tomorrow uh, on Monday or Tuesday next week. Mm -hmm. Okay? Make a plan. Make a plan. 90% of people who are stressed out all the time, it's because they don't make a plan. Take 30 minutes today plan and make it. No, plan, plan through, plan plan through next week. Wednesday. Yep. Plan through next Wednesday. I got okay? some planning to do. <laughs> make a plan. Because you need to be emotionally, physically, and mentally ready for your family. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you are grounded and you are centered to make sure that you can be the, the leader that your family needs. Whether you like your family or not, you need to make sure you're the leader mm -hmm. when it's family time. Okay? So get that done today. Get that done today. I challenge you. Get that done today. Wouldn't your, it be amazing if you got all your work done for Monday and Tuesday this week as well, and then next week it was like... That's my goal. Like... Moving the company forward and yep. and doing extra stuff that you didn't have to do. Right. That's actually what we're going to talk about today. So just FYI, guys, um, every after our show, Lindsay and I go through our planners mm -hmm. and we write out our big three and we write out our plan of the day. OK, today's going to be a little bit more of a planning session because we're uh, yep. because I don't want to be stressed out Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I, you want to hear here we go. You hear me. You ready? You ready? I want to leave early Monday not. and Tuesday. <laughs> I want to leave early. My kids are out of school Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. That's I don't right. want to spend a full day. We are entrepreneurs. We are business owners. We make up our own schedule. We make up our own schedule. And you want to know what? <laughs> I, I, can get, I can get a whole day's worth of work done in four hours if I can focus and if I have a plan. Okay, so I challenge you. Do that. Do it. Now rise up. And crush it. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>